in Blacksburg, Virginia Tech beats Wake Forest 76 59. This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Mike Hogwood, Debbie Antonelli here. The Hokies put five players in double figures, but just as important, the job they did on De'Erica Hamby of Wake Forest. Look, Mike, they showed great respect for the way they defended her. Boxing won the entire second half, and they really made it difficult for her to get a quality catch and get a clean look. She didn't even get a chance to go to her counters because they did such a great job of boxing her in with two or three jerseys, keeping her off the glass below her season numbers and it's a great strategy to take her out because it ultimately led to them having a chance to win. Hamby was bottled in. She worked. She reposted. Reposted. She continued to move without the ball. I just thought the multiple defenders that Dennis Wolfson put on her in the box and one made it tough for her to be able to get a clean look. She did get her 11th double-double with 13 points and 10 rebounds. Mentioned those five players in double figures. Vanessa Panousis led the way with 16. A good point guard knows the three W's, Mike. Who to get it to, when and where. I thought she did an excellent job of controlling the ground, playing the floor game. That's what she does well for Virginia Tech. She has got poise. She knows who to get the ball to, and she did a great job of finding the open shooters. Part of the reason why Virginia Tech was able to build a 21-point lead at the half. Wake Forest only scored 18 points in that first half. As we take a look at the final stats, only two for 21 from three for the Deeks. Virginia Tech plus eight in rebounding. And Wake Forest really cut down on their turnovers in the second half. They had 12 in the first. Well, Debbie had a chance to talk to the sophomore from Sydney, Australia, who was so big for the Hokies, Vanessa Panusis. Vanessa, finally, you guys get a, get a win in the win column. What does it feel like to get your first conference win? I mean, obviously, it's a great booster for us. You know, we've been working hard in practice and not letting these losses get to us. So, um, yeah, tonight was a really, a really good team effort, and we finally came up with the win. When you have five players in double figures and you have that kind of balance, how important is that to be able to move forward to the next game? That's really important. I think that's the first time that that's actually happened this season. So, um, yeah, to get five of our players in double figures really helps our confidence and also um, to make sure that we know that we can actually score the ball, not just like a few people, but five people as well in double figures. Dierica Hamby is on every All-American list. You guys did a terrific job of making it difficult for her. What was the game plan to be able to limit her touches? Well, the game plan was really like a box of one. We had one person stay on her so she wouldn't get as many touches and offensive rebounds. And I think the people that stuck on her really did a great job. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is an excited group of Hokies, and they play like that. They're not just going to get one win in the ACC. No, you're right, Mike. They didn't look like a team tonight that didn't have a win before this game. I thought they played with great balance and poise. They withstood a Wake Forest run in the second half, showed some toughness and some grit, and I think Dennis Wolf's got some building blocks. So a big win tonight for the Virginia Tech Hokies here in Blacksburg. Final score, 76-59. This is the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.